Thank you so much. That was well, absolutely still standing. It's a miracle. Splendid. It was amazing. Splendid. That's a nice word. Splendid. So Lo piano virtuoso Peter Palmer mm. and uh, <clears throat> his uh, piano presentation was absolutely wow. And the way you sang, it was higher than average. It was quite good. You went really the way, high. The way I sang? Oh, mm. oh this is yeah. interesting. Yes, mm. it was um, the highest as you ever sang on the mm. last mm. month. Oh, right. yeah, right. Okay. It's oh, really I'm nice. pretty high. Not the stink, the, the real thing. <laughs> yeah. 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 I don't know how I did it, but I did. Yeah. So, um, musical... Um, Presentation? Uh, composition, uh, Ludwig van Beethoven. And as you know, he was uh, lonely. He's written uh, Moonlight Sonata with lots of sadness and you can, you know, it's like lots of heavy notes and because he's crying and he's sad and we um, rearranged it slightly and we made a duet. And it's uh, amazing. And he we was call completely, it Sunny Sonata. He's so completely deaf and he had his head on the piano trying to hear the vibrations spitting in there. This is why it's like an old man, warm, warm. Warm. This is why, because he did very well so as a dead end, man. In the mm -hmm. end, uh, yeah. you know, when it goes this three beats, warm, 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 it's just basically like, like if it sounds like somebody died at the end, really. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, but uh, right. we um, adding into here grazie, so it means we saying grazie on uh, behalf of the whole mankind. Grazie, that the glorious grazie, you know. And that I think soup is this heavy boom, mm -hmm, boom mm -hmm. at the end. Yeah, yeah. And uh, even um, if it's the end, we mm. still have to die with grass. Uh, I uh, think. Uh, uh, yeah. well, uh, yes, yeah. uh, it's a beautiful, um, especially when you sing duet, and um, we have two voices blending in, and it's really beautiful. And especially when I go, ah, uh, it's just absolutely mm -hmm. lovely. And um, you know, it's so soothing, especially when you're in pain, to hear this beautiful musical presentation. Oh. It's not easy to sing, but mm. to listen to it, it's beautiful. One nice. example, a friend of mine, he was from England, he died of a leukemia, it's a blood disorder, and he actually had this CD, one track in the loop, it was, have a guess, Beethoven and Moonlight Sonata, and it went over and over, and then he finally passed away. He went out in a good way, because he was listening to Moonlight Sonata. Beethoven. Yes. Interesting. So once I had the very, very sore back, it was just ex amazingly mm. sore. Uh, you know, my, my nerve was pinched or something. It was completely mm. amazingly very painful. And uh, I could not fall asleep. And that was a time when we started laying lyrics on the lights. Mm -hmm. That was actually three years ago already. It's when we started to work with that music. And then three years we went only that far. And we're always improving it or adding more into it. In the beginning I could only put Ava Maria nothing else, mm. remember? Yeah, yeah. And then um, Peter Palmer never used to sing into it, in the lower, um, you know, nothing. And it was just only me solo. And um, so when I had it so back and I heard my uh, song playing, because I just recorded it on the mobile, you know, and I was just practicing. Um, and then uh, it was just so soothing, it put me to sleep in no time mm -hmm. and also yeah. re re relieved my pain. So because you know when you have pinchy nerve, you can't just eat uh, tablets all the time because it's actually quite a long time. So you can't just eat a tablet mm -hmm. and more tablets because uh, there's a limit on eating tablets even if you're in extreme pain. Yeah, yeah. Therefore music can be a huge antidote and pain release. Therefore you just can lay down comfortable in position you like you know, in your pain, and just keep listening to this small light now, it's actually beautiful. Mm. It really helps you to fall asleep. I already tried it on me. Yeah, yeah. And small light sonata originally three minutes and fifty seconds. Well, I want small light sonata, but it's actually, we'll call it sunny sonata. So there's yeah, a difference yeah. with titles, uh, sunny sonata, because it's um, different. It's updated to, to, 20, to 2023, this sonata from perspective of this day. It's not changing it, all, all the chords of it is actually the same. It's yeah, just but it's still bringing it up to uh, an, a nice modern setting, actually. And it's it? not only setting, I actually laid lyrics into it. Oh, oh lyrics as well. Yes, exactly. Well. And, and soprano lays on Moonlight Sonata, mm -hmm. creates a fantastic mm -hmm. musical uh, harmony with the voice and uh, the piano. And that is absolutely beautiful. And I'm sure if Beethoven had a nice lady nearby, they'll do exactly the same. I think so, mm. because um, 
um, I think the nice soprano voice on top of that, it just makes it so beautiful. Yeah, probably yeah. went out with a beautiful lady we don't know at the end. I'm just trying yeah. to say to you that we worked on this composition already right. for three years. We played it so many it's times. It's a lot, long time. And many different variations were recorded and uh, uh, we still always, every song is always like different and different and challenging. We sometimes go longer, sometimes it goes shorter, sometimes we did another. You remember how we go faster, Ave Maria, Ave Maria, like a, a bit more faster. Yeah. So we haven't seen like that for quite a while. I remember you saying, singing the bass to Moonlight Sonata. Mm -hmm. I said, you're joking, there's no bass there. But there is when you come, mm -hmm. think about it. Boom, boom, so it's all there. And, and he likes mm -hmm. to play that part, you know, and he sings. And sometimes he does it three times or four times. It means I have to sing three or four times. That, that's ah, right. You know, and that ah uh, actually is a very difficult time to sing because when yeah. you sing that part, you get really tired because this singing ah uh, for a long time it's actually wears you out very oh, quickly. Oh, of course it does, yeah. And plus, on top of it, to sing a song. Mm -hmm. And we had um, probably the maximum length of the it's not that we had 12, 16 minutes. Yeah, we, we just keep going, you know, because he twice. plays it in a loop all the time and I have to sing it again and again and again. <laughs> and then at the yeah. end, when we already sing Grazia, we already very often have no already energy to sing yeah, whatsoever that, that, right. yeah. and all our complete uh, last energy gets spent on that song mm. 